Redmi is a sub brand of Xiaomi now. Here's the Note 7 by Redmi. How is it? Is it any good? Let's find out in today's video. But before we do, make sure to hit the bell icon and subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Now you have done that. Let's get started. So if we take a look at the specifications, the Redmi Note 7 is having a 6.3 inches 1080 x 2340 pixels IPS LCD screen with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 protection. It runs on Android 9 Pie with MIUI 10 on top. It is having Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 14 nanometer, which is an octa-core chipset and the GPU is Adreno 512. The storage options available are 32GB of ROM with 3GB of RAM and 64GB of ROM with 4 or 6GB of RAM. It is having hybrid slot. It is having dual 48MP plus 5MP rear camera with ES and a single 13MP selfie shooter. It is having Bluetooth 5.0 and the USB Type-C port. The IR Blaster is present in this smartphone. Fingerprint, accelerometer, gyroscope, proximity, compass, and face recognition are the sensors available in this device. It supports 18 watt fast charging, that is Quick Charge 4, and it is having a non removable 4000 mAh lithium polymer battery, and the price should be around Rs 10,300 INR. Now I'll be sharing my honest review on the Redmi Note 7. The polycarbonate body looks really nice. It gives a premium feel in hand. But I would recommend you to apply your case because scratches come easily in this type of polycarbonate bodies. The screen quality is really good with great viewing angles and the dewdrop notch design looks pretty cute. Now the smartphone is having 48 megapixel plus 5 megapixel rear camera. Now this created a confusion because the chipset it is having does not support more than 25 megapixel camera. So I already made a video on this topic that how it is possible. Link is in the description area, you can definitely go and check out that video. By the way, the cameras take excellent shots in daylight but there is some noise in low light. It is having Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor which can run your favorite game PUBG easily. The fingerprint scanner and the face recognition are fast and accurate. Now, I would recommend you to ignore some Ben test videos about this smartphone. Because if you want to break a smartphone, then each and every smartphone can be broken, including the Samsung Galaxy M20. So as a whole, I would say, this is really a good smartphone to go with and you can go for this device without any hesitation. So this was my honest review on the brand new Redmi Note 7. If you like the video then hit the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel for more awesome technical videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Have a great day guys.